Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited. I have people to talk to now and I'm not sending messages into the void. In the spirit of the new year and new year's resolutions, we're going to be making a goal planner today. First things first, I should have included this information in my last video. I'm using Word 2007. I realize that it's a very old version of Word. I, I do use Office 365 for my job and there are more features in there, but I haven't felt the need to upgrade what I'm using in my personal life. And there are always workarounds. You don't have to spend that money, right? That's what we're trying to do. That's one of my New Year's resolutions. Haven't been that successful at it yet, but this is the year. I feel it. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're going to be going to Page Layout and click on Margin, then go to Custom Margins. Just a note, this is for an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper for you to hole punch and keep in your binder. In future videos, I will be doing things like inserts for different planners, but for now, since we're trying to save money, this is for a regular plain old binder. For top and bottom, you want to type 0.5, that's 0.5 inches, and then left and right, we're going to do 0.75 because this will leave you enough space after you hole punch it, it won't interfere with what you're printing on there. As you can see, the margins have changed. Next, we'll go to the insert ribbon, I think that's what it's called, and then click on table you'll come to find out that I'm a huge fan of using tables because I feel like it's neat and it keeps things in their places. We're going to do one row, nope, we're going to do one column and five rows today. We'll add to it, but for now let's just start with this. Click on the last row and drag it all the way to the top so it's highlighted. We're going to go to home and change the font and font size. Today I'm going to be using KG Neatly Printed. It's one of my favorite fonts. It's really nice and aesthetically pleasing to me. Font size, I'm going to be using size 16 today. I just want to note that this is all for personal use. If you guys plan on doing this for commercial use or if you're planning on selling this, it's important to buy a license for the fonts that you are using. In the first box at the top there, I'm going to click in it and type my goal, colon. The row below it, right click and select split cells. We're going to do two columns and one row, click OK. In the first box, you can type start date. Hit tab to go to the next box, and then end date. Beneath that, we can type reasons or motivation. I'm going to leave two lines for this. Maybe you'd like to write out a little bit longer why you have this goal. And then in the last box there, the last row, click into it and then right click, select split cells. Number of columns, we're going to do three columns. Number of rows, we're going to do 11 rows. We're going to skip that first row of three columns, click into that second one, go to Insert, Shapes. I think in my last video I did heart shapes for like those check boxes. You can do that if you'd like. Today I'm just going to do a plain old circle. Click and drag where you'd like the circle to be. And you can see here that it overlaps the lines and it's not quite in it. Um, let's change the shape of this, not the shape, let's change the size of this circle first and then we'll, we'll fix the alignment afterwards. Um, after you drew that circle, this format tab should have popped up. On the right hand side there's height and width, I'm going to change it to 0.2. Next. To align it inside those little boxes, we're going to go to text wrapping. It looks like a page with a folded corner and a little dog on there. Click on it, select in line with text, and it'll snap it right into the box. 
If you'd like to change the color of it or anything like that, you'd want to go to Shape Fill, Shape Outline, Change Shape is there. Since today's Goal Planner is going to be a purpley lavender theme, I'm going to change the color of the circles to this really light, no, maybe darker, this purple color. So that was in Shape Outline. You can right click and select copy to copy it, but if you're into keyboard shortcuts, you can also hit Control C, right click and paste, or Control V, and go all the way down each row. Next, this vertical line here, um, hover your mouse over it until you see two arrows pointing left and right. Click on it and drag it to where the circles are. One row above that, type due date. The next vertical line, go ahead and do the same thing. Double arrows, click and drag. And then we're going to type action steps. What steps are you taking to achieve your goal? In the very last box in the last row, click in it and then hit tab. That'll add another row for you. I want you to click and drag so that last row is selected. Right click, select Merge Cells. This is where we're going to do Reflection. What are your thoughts on your journey? Hit Tab. Another row will pop up. This time I want you to right click in that row. We're going to split cells again and we're doing three columns and two rows. In the first box, I'm going to type, what was easy? The next one, I'm going to type, what was hard? And in the last column, I'm going to type, how do I feel? Again, this is all customizable. If you feel like these options or these topics don't apply to you, go ahead and leave them out. You could just leave like a blank box full of lines so that you can write your thoughts on how you felt achieving your goal. Underneath the how do I feel box, click on that last box there and drag it all the way to the top to where my goal is also selected. We're going to go to the design tab and as you can see here there are all these different colors if you click on this down button You'll be able to see a lot more colors, but today we're going to keep it simple. I'm just going to select this option right here, the white and purple lines. And then even when it's selected, you can see that some words are bolded and others are not. If you go to the Home tab while it's selected, there's this bolded B. Go ahead and click on that twice, so then everything becomes bolded. Now we're going to change the line spacing to give you a little bit of space. I don't know how you guys are, but when I write, I, I'm one of those people who take up a lot of space when they write anything. Um, we're going to go to line spacing, click on it. We're selecting 1.5 today. Keep it highlighted. We're going to click on line spacing again and then select add space before paragraph. I know this looks really big, but that's because my page is zoomed at 120%. Scroll to the bottom. Where you see this horizontal line here, hover over it until you see double arrows again, but this time pointing up and down. Click on it and drag it to the bottom of your, your margin. Next, make sure you're clicked inside one of the tables. Um, we're going to go to the Design tab. I'm going to add some vertical borders, but I don't want plain lines. I want something a little bit different. After you click on the design tab, in the far right you'll see draw borders. That top box that says line style, go ahead and click on that down button. I'm going to do the line and two dots today. I'm leaving the, the weight at a half point and for pen color, since this is a purple theme, I'm going to select one of the purple colors, maybe, maybe this light one. And as you can see, your pointer will become a pencil. That's not what we want today. Um, go ahead and go where the draw table is selected. Click on it again so it's not selected anymore. 
click in that last box and drag it all the way to where it says due date and action steps. Go back to the home tab and right here where you see this box that has dotted lines all over it, that's for the, the borders of the table. Click on that down button and select the one that says inside vertical border. After you click outside of the box so nothing is selected, you'll see these dotted lines here that separate it for you. I'm going to zoom out so you can see the final product. And this is what it looks like, a simple goal planner page that you can customize for yourself. If you'd like to do double page, go ahead, click and drag to copy everything. Click on the next page and control V and you should be able to see it printed out like this. For double page, I know it has a third page right here. You don't have to worry about it. Just make sure you're only printing pages one and two. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next video and Happy New Year's everyone!